hey mama if you're tired of your little ones wash day taking the entire day or you keep putting off wash day because you dread it you're in the right place today i'm going to be sharing some game changing tips that is guaranteed to shorten your little ones or wash days I'm talking about one hour wash days, minus the styling, less breakage, and more length retention. Let's get straight into it. Hey mamas, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so first things first, your mindset is everything. I get it, wash days can be frustrating, it can be a headache, it could be stressful for you and stressful for your little one, and it's taking way too long right now. But trust me, it doesn't have to be this way. With the right strategy, wash day can actually become a breeze, trust me on that one. Even enjoyable and a bonding session with your little one. Start thinking positive, mamas, start thinking positive if you have it in your mind that you know wash days is going to be dreadful it's going to be long i can't stand her hair her hair is hard her hair is rough her hair is tough <laughs> all these negative thoughts i mean why would you enjoy it why would you be looking forward to something like that think positive and start speaking it into existence and then put in the work you'd be amazed how a positive mindset can totally change your little one's wash day experience. Okay, so now let's jump into my first tip, and that is preparation. Preparation, mamas, is everything. I am a preparer, <laughs> if that's the right word. I like to prepare things, get my mind ready, get things ready for wash day. I like to even prepare my children for wash day by telling them in advance, maybe like a day or two that, you know, I'm gonna wash their hair tomorrow, just to prepare them for the whole wash day experience. How you prep your little one's wash day will determine how smooth wash day is and how quick wash day is as well. One of my favorite tricks is preconditioning my eldest daughter's hair. So for example, I will precondition with a good conditioner that has good slip. This just makes detangling a breeze. So I detangle my daughter's hair before I shampoo and doing this little prep before I shampoo just makes everything else go so much more smoothly. I'm talking less tangles, quicker um, detangling time, quicker wash day overall just by prepping before. So here's how, on wash day, I fully saturate her hair with water, apply conditioner, then I use my fingers first to remove any tangles or knots, and then I use my brush to remove more of that shed hair from her hair and detangle her hair. Once her hair is detangled, I then twist it up and then I shampoo in those twists. And boom, I've just saved myself so much time so much time. So when it comes to my daughter's wash day, it is literally one hour. And you know she has bum length hair. Her hair is long, long. <laughs> and of course, when you add styling, that's another like an hour or an hour and a half, depending on what style you're doing or what style I'm doing, for example, it will take a little bit longer, but I give myself a total of two hours and 13 minutes for the full wash day, including styling. So wash day itself only takes me an hour. You've saved yourself so much time and also you don't have to detangle after this whole process. So when it comes to styling, some moms are detangling again before they put their little one's hair into protective style. I detangle once and that's in the shower and that is it until two weeks later. So basically you only wanna detangle once on wash day and thoroughly using the right techniques. The next thing is using the right tools. Using the right tools can shorten your little one's wash day. What am I saying? I've mentioned this before, but a conditioner with great slip, I love using conditioners that contain silicone because for me, in my opinion, they give the best slip. From my experience, they give the best slip 
and just make detangling a breeze. All these things I'm mentioning, I see them as tools. Tools to help me make wash day smooth and quicker. Previously, it used to take me one hour to detangle my, my eldest daughter's bum length hair, but using this conditioner, which I've spoken about before, literally has cut down the time in half. And now it only takes me 30 minutes to detangle her bum length hair, and then I have 30 more minutes to do everything else. Pair that with a good, detangling brush and you glide through your little one's hair with minimal breakage. The right tools on wash day matters. If you use the wrong tools, it can make wash day take longer than necessary. Mummies, before we continue, if you're struggling with your little one's hair, if you're feeling overwhelmed or even frustrated because you feel like you don't know how to care for your little one's hair, I've got you. Book a consultation call with me and let me help you. You know, let's talk about your frustrations, your struggles, and let me provide the solution. Let me give you the answers that you need to help your little one's hair thrive and help you to confidently care for your little one's hair. So all you need to do is just click the link below this video and book some time in my diary. And let's have a talk. You don't have to do this on your own. You don't have to stay on this struggle bus. I've got you. Okay, so let's talk deep conditioning. Yes, deep conditioning is important, but no, you don't have to deep condition for hours or overnight. That's just too much. Just 10 minutes can do wonders. I mean, add a stretch, 30 minutes, but for me, I do 10 minutes and that's it. I don't need to do any more than 10 minutes and my children's hair feels good, it feels soft, it feels smooth, and it's conditioned and that's only 10 minutes. If you wanna go the extra mile, okay, 30 minutes max, but if we're talking about shortening wash days, making wash day as effective as possible, and also ensuring that your little one's hair receives all the benefits from all the products you're using on wash day, 10 minutes is more than enough. Whether you use a plastic cap after you've put a deep conditioner in your little one's hair or a conditioning cap or even cling film deep condition efficiently and keep it moving <laughs> keep it moving now here's a time saver if you've got multiple children like me i've got four children <laughs> sometimes when i say four children i'm like wow <laughs> i can't believe sometimes that i have four children but if you have a multiple children like I do. Please mamas, don't wash more than one head in one single session. Don't do it. Unless their hair is short, for example, that's different. So for example, my eldest daughter who is eight has bum length hair. When my youngest was a newborn, obviously she had shorter hair, much shorter hair, right? So if I was to wash her hair and then wash um, my newborn's hair at the time, or even my son's hair who has short hair, that would be a breeze because those other two have short hair, so it's different. But washing, for example, my eldest daughter's hair and then my third child's hair who has tailbone length hair on the same day, I wouldn't do that because that would take that will make wash day longer because I'm washing two children's hair that have long hair already. Does that make sense? So I don't wash more than one head of hair that is long on a single wash session. This ultimately keeps me from feeling overwhelmed and also maintains the quality of each wash day. I'm able to take my time, not feel rushed, um, but by adding another head, I don't wanna rush and cause breakage or become overly tired and just rush through my children's hair on wash day. And plus just cuts down on wash day time overall. The next tip is prolonging wash days. Mamas, please stop prolonging wash days because you will suffer the consequence. <laughs> you will suffer the consequence of doing this. This is the reason why, okay? The longer you wait, the more shed hair that will accumulate in your little one's hair. So on average, our hair sheds about 50 to 100 strands a day, right? So if you're waiting weeks or months without washing your little one's hair, that's a lot of shed hair that's gonna accumulate. And as these shed hairs are accumulating, they are causing tangles within the hair, making detangling a nightmare. So if you're a mom that prolongs wash day, you're gonna find that with time, their hair becomes even more unmanageable and you really wanna avoid that. What you're gonna do is set aside a regular wash schedule and stick 
to it, mummies. If you want shorter wash days, stick to a regular wash schedule. By washing regularly, your little one's hair is going to remain manageable rather than unmanageable because you've prolonged wash day. Mama, just to remind you, if you are struggling with your little one's hair, if you're feeling frustrated, overwhelmed, you know, even feeling like you have failed because you don't know how to care for your little one's hair, I have got you. All you need to do is click the link below this video and book a consultation call with me. On that call, I will help you to identify where you're going wrong. I will help you to create the right regimen for your little one's hair needs. I will provide some product suggestions. Mama is, trust me, book that call with me, okay? <laughs> and let me get you off that struggle bus. Click the link below this video and let's have a chat. So my next tip is work in sections, always. Especially if your little one's hair is long enough. This goes for washing, this goes for detangling, moisturizing, Sections are gonna prevent tangling on wash day, for example. It's gonna ensure a thorough clean on wash day because you're able to wash the hair properly, which will help with a healthy scalp, healthy hair growth. And also, <laughs> the key is help you move faster because you're working in sections. Work through one section at a time. Watch how less overwhelmed you feel and how much time you save. Here's a bonus tip, mum, when it comes to styling your little one's hair. Add a leave-in conditioner to your little one's hair while they are in the shower. When you've added the leave-in conditioner to your little one's hair while they're in a the shower, put their hair into sections and clip it away. Once you've clipped it away, you wanna wrap their hair in a microfiber towel or t-shirt, for example, until you're ready to style their hair. Now, what this is gonna do is, one, is gonna save you time. And this is gonna keep their hair smooth, lubricated, separated, and this is gonna make styling a lot more easier and quicker. Another one you wanna trust me on. Your life will be so much easier. You're not gonna to need to blow dry the hair or anything like that because the hair will be manageable. And also on a note of styling, when it comes to styling, choose something simple, mamas. If you choose something simple, you're more likely gonna finish styling quicker than choosing something that's gonna be small and intricate. You're gonna take way longer to style their hair. You want to do a simple style that won't take forever, that is gonna be quick to install and also quick to take down when it's time to take down for moisturizing or take down for washing, you know. When your child has small, intricate styles, you're not even gonna be bothered to take it out because you already know how long it's gonna to take to even take out that style. But if the hair is simple, and easy to take out, you're more likely gonna to wanna to take it out to either re-moisturize or to wash your little one's hair. For me personally, twists and plaits are my go-to. Twists are even easier to take out. I don't do them small. I do them like medium-sized and yeah, it doesn't take me a long time to install or to take out. They're easy, they're versatile, and they look amazing because they can be styled in different ways, especially when it comes to twists. You can style it in different ways and it looks amazing. Plus, they keep your little one's hair protected and manageable throughout the week, and also saving you time. You don't need to be doing your little one's hair every single morning because your little one's hair is in a protective style. Always, you wanna see these tips in action? I know you do. Check out the video show right now on the bottom left hand corner of this screen. I promise you, you'll be amazed how quick and easy wash day can be when you follow these steps. See you next time, mama. Take care. Bye.